Hey guys, it's me. Just wanted to show you something kind of cool I found on Cubase. I'm sure a lot of you already know about it. I'm always late to the party, uh, but this is something pretty awesome. Um, down here, you can select as far as layouts. Just this little arrow here. You can pick whether you want simple, standard, recording, mixing. So standard is how you're used to seeing it, but it's pretty handy for mixing. You switch it, and you can see right here you have your sends and inserts and EQ states that you can bypass with a click on the actual project window. Now I know that there's the uh, you know mixing zone available, but some people like myself, I hate that. It just feels cluttered to me, so I think it's awesome that I can do the bypassing from here. And then also um, the other one that's for recording is nice because it takes away all the crap and automation buttons and all that and just leaves you with the monitors and recording button. And it's just kind of nice to have it cleaner if you're recording or, or tracking a bunch of things. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm uh, kind of talking over this track I'm working on because um, <laughs> I couldn't find a better thing to do that would be, you know, not just me talking. But anyway, yeah. Um, Give it a try. Pretty handy for Cubasers. You could set up all the parameters on here and things you want to uh, add and change as far as those customized, um, I guess, control settings. I'm sure there's a name for what they are. But uh, yeah, cool to play with. Cubase is awesome. So check it out. And otherwise, thanks for checking out the video. See you guys next time.